guys welcome back to our youtube channel so in this informative youtube video we will guide you through the process of how to fix the issue of a steel series gg engine not detecting device such as headset on both windows and mac operating system so we will provide you step by step instruction to help you troubleshoot and resolve this problem whether you are a gamer or simply rely on your headset for communication so this video will assist you in getting your device detected and working seamlessly so follow along and get ready to enjoy an interrupted audio experience so let's start here are the first solution we have to do reset windshield simply going to this home section and then type a command prompt and then you have to right click on it and then click on it run as administrator after this you have to type there net And now you have to type up NET SH Windshock Reset. Then in the command prompt window and press enter. This command reset the windshock catalog. After executing the command, restart your computer to allow the changes to take effect. So that's how you can run your solution file in your system. Now we are going to solution 2. Enable SD services. So click on the start menu and click on the computer management. Simply you have to tap there. Computer management. Then there are the computer management is open there. And now you have to Click on the in the computer manager window, locket service and application on the left side, and then click on the services. Open them, and now we have to find the and locket service and application. So click on this, and now in the service application on the left side then click the services and services after this you have to look for a service name hid human interface devices They are the call human interface devices and then verify if the status is started if not right click on the their service select start so you can see the status there not started so you have to right click on this and then click on the start and And now right click on this you have to click on this properties go to the general tab and in and then set the startup type to automatic like they are called manual then you have to click automatic so click apply and then close to save the changes so that's how you can run your enable HID service in your system and now we are going to solution third so in solution third we have to uninstall and reinstall G steel series gg engine before the troubleshooting backup to your configuration and macros to avoid data loss so uninstall steel series gg from your pc navigate to the add to remove program select steel series gg and uninstall so reinstall gg from steel series exam this with this link then download the latest version of this steel series gg and to ensure a clean installation and resolve any previous download error so change the usb port on your pc especially if you are using a usb hub front port or different usb version so now we are going to solution for update device driver make sure your the steel series gg iap is updated to the latest version so press window plus r 
then type at devmgmt.msc then hit ok and now so after this in device manager you have to navigate human interface device then expand this after expand this in device manager you have to find your steel series device in this section so right click on the device select properties and go to the driver step and then click on the uninstall driver or uninstall services so there you will not find record i am not using this uh, app so but you can show you how you can do this simply you have to click on this there are the option called stc gg app then same process you have to double click on this and right click on the and there are the option called install that's how you can installation and now after installation check box to delete driver software when the prompted after installing the driver unplug the device from your pc then replug it back in open the steel series gg engine software and verify if your device is now detected properly or not so that's how you can done your solution for in your system and now we are going to solution 5 check for compatibility for mac check your mac version before using the steel series gg app check your max version if you are using a big sir monetary or a device with m1 or m2 chips then you may experience limited compatibility with certain function understand the limitation be aware that central function such as button building angle snapping xl and d cell and then text based macros may not work as expected on your mac this is due to the app compatibility with specific hardware and software configuration so in solutions is we have to adjust security setting for Mac. Click on the Apple menu in the top left corner of the screen. Then select System Preferences. After this, you have to within System Preferences, lock it and click on the Security Privacy. And then in Security Privacy, you have to select Privacy tab and scroll to Find Input Monitoring. If the STC GC app is grayed out, so click on uh, the lock icon in the lower left corner. Then enter your password. Then select the Steel Series GC app and click Quit and now reopen it so in solution 7 we have to check for vpn interface if running a vpn uninstall both the vpn software and steel series gg from your system then after removing the vpn and gg reinstall the steel series gg software on your pc once steel series gg is reinstalled reinstall the vpn software on your system then check if the device is detected properly in steel series engine while the vpn is active when making any adjustment or changes in steel series engine disable the vpn to prevent interference so in solution 8 we have to reach out the steel series support if the issue persists after troubleshooting all of the steps we have to take a solution so there are the last option is we have to visit the steel series website and create a support ticket for further assistance these are the link we will provide in our description you have to select your device what are you using then after that you have your issue what you are facing and you have to take on all of the troubleshoot already in this time so they will provide you some more troubleshooting step to resolve the issue so these are some simple solutions we have to take up when you see or tackle the problem of this that is still series gg engine not detecting device like headset when in windows and mac thank you for watching our video i hope you like it and we will catch you in our next video